Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to be talking to you about the different types of synovial joints found within the body. As we found out in our last video, all synovial joints within the body are diarthroses, meaning they are freely movable. But the way in which these movements are achieved can be very different. So we're going to take a look at what these different types are. Now the types of synovial joints we can find within the body are hinge joints, pivot joints, ellipsoid or condyloid joints, plane joints, bowl and socket joints, and saddle joints. Now just while I'm uh, writing all that down here, we can see in the diagram over here that we've got a, a few different examples of what those different types are. And we're just briefly going to look at how those movements are achieved and how that uh, shape allows that movement. So just finishing up writing that now, our ball and socket joints and our saddle joint. Now the first type of joint here is our hinge joints and they usually have a somewhat cylindrical end to one of the bone surfaces and a trough shape um, in the accompanying bone. Now movement is in a uniaxial plane with flexion and extension being the only possible movements uh, available for that type of joint. Now a perfect example of this is the uh, extension and uh, flexion of the elbow. So we've got it just drawn here, our elbow, and it can extend and flex. Pivot joints are resultant of a rounded surface of bone surrounding the opposing articular bone with a ligament, similar to a sleeve. This can be seen uh, at the attachment point of the proximal ulna and radius, where the annular ligament surrounds the head of the radius. Movement allowed by this type of joint is also uniaxial, as the bone may only rotate in a ring around that uh, ligament. So we'll just write that down the bottom here as well. It is a circular rotation only. And we'll also just write in the names of these uh, bones. So we have the radius down the bottom here and the ulna, which has the annular ligament that's attaching or surrounding the radius. Now our ellipsoid or condyloid joints feature a bone with an oval shaped surface that articulates with a bone that has a complementary depression. This type of joint is multi-axial and allows many types of movements including flexion, extension, abduction and adduction, also circumduction. The best example of these types of joints can be seen between your knuckles. So we have an oval shaped joint here and a uh, depression in the complementary bone. It can move uh, up or down for flexion or extension and uh, in a circular shape as well for circumduction. Now our plane joints are unique in the fact that they are completely flat. They are also known as gliding joints as well. Uh, movements achieved by these are non-axial and only short. The act of one surface gliding across another does not involve any movement around a particular axis, so that's why uh, it's uh, non-axial. So we can see the uh, examples of these here within the hand and note that there is no rotation. So they can be found within the uh, intercarpal or intertarsals or between the articular processes of the spine as well. Now for our ball and socket joints, they are very similar in appearance to the condyloid joints, but are completely round in shape. Their articular counterparts have a depression that almost resembles a cup. This type of joint, like the condyloid, is also multiaxial and is the most freely movable of the joint types found within the body. The only examples of these found within our body are within the shoulder, where the humerus attaches to the scapula, and the hip, where the femur attaches to the pelvis. So we've got in our shoulder here, the humerus uh, having a rounded head will attach to a uh, depression found within the scapula. Now just showing here as well with the uh, condyloid joint that I drew earlier, if we look at it from a different angle, it's more of an oval shape. 
So we've got our scapula here that has the depression and our humerus that has the rounded head. Our last example of a synovial joint is the saddle joint. These joints are similar to condyloid joints but allow slightly more movement. Now each bone in the saddle joint will have both a concave and convex area within it. Now the best example of these are found within your thumbs. So I'll just uh, draw up quickly a picture of a saddle joint because I don't have one here. And just showing you the uh, axes it can move in. So we've got our thumbs and we can move it in several axes as I'm showing here. So we've got forward, backwards and uh, sideways. And if you sit there and uh, twiddle your thumbs, you'll see uh, just all those different movements that you can achieve with that type of joint. Now that covers all of the uh, different synovial joints that we have within the body. In our next video, we are going to have a look at the fibrous joints and describe them and learn a little bit more about them. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you and I hope I see you again soon.